news now, Operation Mobbed Up. The state police made a big sting in 2008. Now the case is back in the news. But this time, to honor the investigators who worked the case, many of them undercover. Eyewitness News reporter Tim White joins us with the details. The seventh annual Justice Awards are given in the name of former attorneys general. This year, the Sheldon White House Award wasn't given to an individual, but an entire group of crime fighters. <laughs> Members of the Rhode Island State Police Intelligence Unit are not too keen on a lot of exposure. I was told that Lieutenant Studley was going to actually receive this award tonight, but somehow I ended up here. Captain David Neal accepting a 7th Annual Justice Award from Attorney General Patrick Lynch on behalf of his detectives. This actually is a, a, a for Operation Mobbed Up. Specifically, the General White House Award for Drug Enforcement. In 2008, the state police snared 23 people in the initial phase of their sting Operation Mobbed Up. It really just showcases, I think, the um, why... Part of the war on drugs, frankly, is, is a, a war against the misuse of prescription drugs, and we saw it a lot in this investigation. The case also led to the unearthing of a legendary mob mystery. Mob associate Nicholas Nicky Perry, on his deathbed and charged in Mobbed Up, led state police to the body of Joseph Joey Onion Scanlon, who was gunned down in 1978. I'd like to uh, thank Colonel Doherty for his support to the members of the intelligence unit who work tirelessly on many long-term cases. The 2009 Justice Awards were given to eight recipients honored for their extraordinary commitment to justice. At the time of the Operation Mobbed Up investigation, the Rhode Island State Police Intelligence Unit was made up of six members. That case is still winding its way through the legal system. Tim White, Eyewitness News.